Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy. Today at Expert Trainer, we'll be talking about DevOps methodology, principles and stages. So let's get into the video. So a waterfall model is nothing but as you said, it's a sequential steps, right? So for example, it comes with requirements gathering and then analysis and then design and then implementation and then testing and then maintenance okay so everything goes step by step right so it it goes from here to here and then from here to here okay and then from here to here and then from here to here and then here to here so what happens is like whenever there is a project that has been working on an waterfall model right so it takes at least six to eight months for an end result of this to be delivered into the production and then the client will actually see it after six to eight months right and what happens if after six to eight months if the client is not even interested or he is not satisfied with that again he has to take in all the requirements and then it goes for analysis design implementation testing and maintenance and it takes another three four months right so this is the process of waterfall model which has been quite a drawback for the modern world and everything because as I said, in DevOps and modern world, everything needs to be speed and rapid. So this will take a huge amount of time for each and every correction and there is no uh, recurring feedbacks coming from the client and the client is not even aware what is the team is doing and it takes huge amount of cost, times and efforts for a business, right? So to overcome this waterfall methodology, they brought in something called as agile, right? So what do you mean by agile methodology agile methodology is nothing but it is same as waterfall methodology we are not going to do something different right so the process or i would say the step steps inside an agile methodology is still the same which means here also i'm just going to do a requirements gathering analysis design implementation testing and then maintenance the process is the same but I will be doing it in a regular intervals of time, which I call it as an iteration. <clears throat> right. So every iteration, right, I'll just follow the same process. And every iteration means it is at least two weeks to four weeks to six weeks. So depending upon the time frame, right? So I will just do the same iteration and the same process so that at the end of this, the client will be able to see the result at least after four weeks. And after four weeks, if he is not satisfied or if he needs any change, immediately I can take that change and then I can pass it on to the next requirement. And immediately after next four weeks, I can show that to the client. So the client and the company is always connected to each other and the feedback loops is always happening from the end customer so that the end customer is also satisfied on what is the work we are doing and at the same time, we can also cooperate with him to give the desired result of his needs, right? So that is one of the advantages of this agile methodology becoming very, very famous in this modern uh, situation, right? So this is called as agile methodology, right? So the most famous framework of agile is Scrum because Scrum is actually followed by 90% of the world companies. That's why Scrum is very very important framework that is mainly successful for any software development right what exactly is a scrum scrum is again as i said it's the same process of agile but you're just going to do it on a regular intervals of time so you're going to do the same requirements gatherings analysis design test implementation and maintenance but you will be doing it in a regular intervals of time so that regular interval you can call it as an iteration or in scrum we we call it as a sprint right so every sprint will be four weeks to six weeks or two weeks to four weeks. It depends upon the project. So it depends upon the client, right? But not more than six weeks. So that is how a sprint will happen. And every end of the sprint, you will have something to show it to the client. And that is called as an MVP, which is minimum viable product. At least a basic result or some dummy web page, you have to show it to the client, which we call it as MVP for the particular sprint. You see? This is my scaled agile framework. So this can be applicable only for enterprise companies or government companies, which has more than 500 to 1000 people, right? 
the one that we that we are discussing is only on the bottom most level where you have only 30 to 50 to 70 people so your company where you implement scrum will end here itself right after that if you have more than 100 to 200 people then comes your next step where your release trains and everything will come in right so after that if you have more than 300 people then comes your next stage which is called as my solution train and then here is where your main c level groups will come in and the c level groups and the business the decision makers the financiers everyone will participate on the last level which is called as my operational value stream right so these many layers you have on implementation of a safe okay so let me explain you in one level <coughs> detailed one right so here whatever we discussed till now on a scrum and other things i told you we have something called as scrum master right this scrum master this scrum master will be handling a team of maybe 10 to 20 people right and here itself scrum of scrums will also come okay now i have more scrum of scrums of scrums which is i have more than 100 people then what will i do then all these 100 people will be reporting to one person called as rte which is release train engineer okay this release train engineer will have more than 100 people reporting to it in that 100 people you will have multiple scrum of scrum of scrums masters plus scrum of scrum masters plus scrum masters plus team okay so this rte itself is a very powerful role in safe because he is the one who is determining the multiple scrums and how a release train should happen and how many deliverables are happening and other things and all right so this rte is a very very powerful role in safe okay <clears throat> next multiple rtes okay one rte itself is i am saying 150 people okay multiple rtes are reporting to one person called as ste which is solution train engineer then imagine how much powerful the solution train engineer will be okay and multiple STEs will be reporting to someone called as epic owners then these guys are very very powerful because they are belonging to the c level and this epic owners and enterprise architects will be directly reporting to the ceo okay this is how the structure of safe will be okay now this rte will determine what is my current sprint how long should i take for this product to be delivered is it six weeks okay in this six weeks multiple teams maybe 10 scrum teams will be working together to deliver a product in six weeks and that process is called as art which is agile release train okay some of our colleague also said something called release train right so what do you mean by release train is nothing but it's a sprint okay in safe we don't call it as a sprint in safe we call it as a art which is agile release train so where is my train taking from one destination to another destination that is the reason it is called as release train right so that release train and the release features and how long it will take how many teams has to participate everything will be decided by this rte okay if suppose the art which is agile release train is not getting delivered on time and it is getting failed only then this guy will come into the picture which is ste a solutions train engineer will come into the picture only when my art is getting failed then what he will do he will take this art under his control and then he will form something called a solution train okay he will be including his capabilities his enablers and other things and all and then he will try to make this failed art into an solution train and he will deliver it to the customer okay if this art and srt which is solution train is also getting failed 
only then this enterprise architect and epic owners will be jumping into the picture if not these people and all will not even look down what is happening <clears throat> this entire portfolio management will be only visible to the ceos they don't even know what is happening on the underground okay these people will only come in when there is a multiple failures on arts and srts so this spotify we call it as agile 2.0 okay some companies have started adopting it uh, from 2021 onwards and now by 2022 lot of other companies will also implement this agile 2.0 which people call it as spotify model right so what it is is like i have two different projects so this is my project 1 and this is my project 2 okay so on a scrum team or i would say on an agile team you will have a uh, developers you will have testers you will have database guys and you will have maybe uh, unix or whatever guys it is right same for other scrum teams and other things so combination of all the developers together in a particular project is called as my squads okay combination of the scrum teams together is called as my chapters okay the entire project people is called as a tribes and picking up the best of best people and then forming a special team is called as my guild that's what is agile 2.0 uh, during a starting of the project right so there will be a collective decisions and they will be coming up with this matrix what are all the different task items what are all the different team what are all the different team members what is the role for them who, who are all responsible for this to deliver who are all uh, accountable for this to deliver who are all informed who are all consulted so this will be done during the initial project discussions and starting of the projects right so on a nutshell i'll just tell you what are all this four items right responsible in the sense you are responsible to deliver it no matter what right that is what is called as responsible for so like for example if you want to deliver some website then i don't care how you deliver what you deliver but you are responsible for delivering it so you have to deliver it no other option that is responsible accountable is nothing but you are require to deliver it but i don't care whether you are going to work it or someone else is going to work it but you are accounted for if the project is not delivered then i will be holding you accountable for it, right but i don't want you to work or i don't want someone else to work that i will that choice is given to you right so that is called as accountable consulted is nothing but an sme right so the subject matter experts if you get stuck in something else then you can talk to the subject matter experts and get the consultations out of it and and then solve it that is consulted inform is nothing but keeping someone on the cc just to inform them like something is going on that is called as informed right so these are all the four main items on this particular aspects of raci matrix so guys this was our expert from team k21 academy and if in case you missed up on anything or if you want to have a deeper dive in devops then we have something really special for you we have our free class on devops for beginners what why and how to get higher paid jobs all you have to do is just log on to k21academy.com forward slash devops02 moving ahead you'll be seeing this kind of interface just click on book your free seat now Select your event date, add your name, your email address, your phone number and click yes, save my seat. Moving ahead, you'll be seeing this kind of URL. Save that URL, add it to your calendars and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, keep learning.